There are certain things in life you just can't put a price on. Or at least that's the saying. And there's one golf club in that bag which I will never, ever, ever sell. Ever. Let's do it. And let's do it now. I think it's time I did some explaining. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel or to the channel if you're new to the channel. I say warmly because it's an August day today and it's freezing, it's windy, it's blustery. Apologies if the audio's a little bit all over the place. Doing my best, I've even got a little, even got a little mic on for you there. So I'm taking heed of what people comment about the videos. And today's video is something which it's a little bit special for me. It's one that I've been wanting to make for quite some time. It's a golf club I'm not sure I've had on the channel much. And I'll never sell it. Ever. Unless you want to make an offer, like a high offer. Because you see, I'm a massive believer that golf clubs have their own kind of sentimental value. They have memories. They hold, I don't know, confidence as well. And there's a, there is a reason why I've not used this club on the channel very much. And when I say very much, I mean like... You may have never seen it on the channel. It's, ne it's definitely never been in a what's in the bag. It's just been sat in the office. Guys, hit those comments below. Do you have a club that's in your household, that's in your office, that's in your garage, which you'll never sell? Never sell. Someone could offer you a thousand pound, two thousand pound. Mate, okay, okay, so potentially wouldn't sell. Also guys, what do we think it is? I mean, you may have seen it already or it may be covered up. Um, we're gonna see if we can use it to break par today. Um, still not got a bush though, still. Right, come on, middle of the green, keep your balance. Uh, right, nice bounce please. Well, it did, it's still short, but at least we're not going left. Been working hard on not going left. So there's that. Right, come on guys, get in those comments below. I haven't told you what it is yet because maybe I'm trying to keep you on the edge of your seat. Maybe there's just not been a time to use it yet. I mean, I've hit driver off the tee. To be fair, it's one of the best drivers I've hit in a long time. There were a few people there as well. It was windy. There were people down the right hand side and really happy to get one away there, actually. It was a, a nice confident swing, which I've not had in a while. So it's not a driver. Is it the irons? I mean, the irons are okay, they're nice, they look good, they feel great, the Mizunos, they're never going to be bad. But then the new JPX irons, the 921, 912, whatever they're called, they look great as well. Right, as we can see, not, um, not the best approach shot to this green, but then it is a bit of a difficult day. So, gale force winds, I don't know if you can hear. Right, so come on guys, if you've not guessed it yet, what is it? It's not the irons, it's not the driver. Could it be the Vokey wedges? Could it be the signed Vokey wedges that's got pride of place in my office? The signed Vokey wedges that's got pride of place in my office. It's in the cabinet that's never even gonna see air again. Or the, no, the light of day, it's never gonna hit a golf ball. I mean, it's, okay, I'm not gonna sell that one, but it's not the, what the, Okay, there's two. There's two clubs, but it's, it's in here. It's in there. Right. So it's not the wedge. It is the wedge, but it's not the wedge. Uh, so it must be then a putter. Is it? Or a three wood. Maybe it's a three wood. Funny story about that, actually. Anyway, right, come on, let's save par. Oh, that was terrible. That was rubbish, James. You're too busy telling your story to even hit a good chip. Chris would be fuming there. But at least it gives us a long putt. Um, so there's always that. Right, so realistically now, it's gonna have to be a putter, isn't it? Uh, and I've done well to keep it covered up, actually. You may have noticed that the towel's covering something up and um, I mean, you may have caught a glimpse of it there, but it's basically a, basically a club which just gives me so many good memories, so many good feelings, so much positivity. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you how I came about it, because I didn't buy it, well, I sort of bought it. The difference 
between this and a standard one, how I've butchered it, and it is obviously, I mean, let's just hold this 20 footer for par first and then we'll talk through it. If this goes in, by the way, the video might just end here. But it's a great roll. Please go in for the video. Oh, you naughty, naughty. This is exactly, this is exactly, I'm so excited for this. This is exactly why I'm never selling this Red X, ever. Nestle you in there. Why aren't you using it? And I must say, after that performance on the first, I can't, honest, honest to God, that was, I can't. Why aren't you using it? Anyway, so the story about how it came about is quite a fun one. Um, basically, I had a Scotty Cameron Newport, and back in our junior days, we'd have a swap shop. We'd always swap clubs and trade clubs, and um, my friend Dalton, he might watch this, he might not, I'll probably tell him actually, so he'll... Um, yeah, basically, he had this, and I swapped him for a Newport, and he'd changed it a bit, he'd coloured a few bits in, I think he'd chopped it down. You see how that central sight line there is coloured in red? That isn't a standard option. And there's a few things which I just love about it. I mean, I've extended it myself, I've put a grip on it, I've, I've, the head cover's not the actual, it, it was the black head cover, if you remember. But I'll just, I'll just never, ever, ever sell it because there's some stories. Let me tell you about these stories. We've got plenty of time. Come on, there's numerous, there's a three wood story as well, but. Right, come on, another good drive. This is downwind. Let's see if we can hold a birdie putt instead of save a par. Oh, good Lord. I'm hitting a fade now and it's so much better. That's just naughty, that's filthy. What a day, what a day, what a time to be alive. We're going on holiday this week with the boys. I'm so happy. Where am I even going this way? And you see, this is exactly why I won't sell it because I've brought it out. I haven't had to put on the putting green. I didn't have time, but a tea time came available because it's so busy right here at the moment. I must say as well, hats off to Ben and the guys at Huddersfield Golf Club because this place is looking spectacular. So if you're about, I'll make sure you get down here and get playing. It's fun. Again, can't sing the praises enough. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. So this is why I won't sell it, just because it holds so many, like even that, that's, that's now a memory just added to the bank. And the big memory for me using this club was the PGA playing aptitude test or the playing ability test. Now, you all know that I'm not the best professional golfer and I've never really played to any great level because I was just never good enough. I never felt the need or felt the, I had the ability to do so, but I was desperate to coach. I was desperate to be a PGA pro. So, did you see that drive? You see that drive? Oh, hi. What you then have to do, you have to get down to four handicap, which I did. I did that fairly easily, to be fair. I was, as a junior, I felt like I wanted to play wanted to play. You see how the story is kind of building now, but I was never good enough to play. So I, I stood for the PGA, I did all the CPD and USP and USB and all the stuff that you have to do to get onto the PGA course. And I went for the playing ability test at Bolton Golf Club and it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was a, it was a pressure filled day. It was a very stressful day because realistically you're playing for, I'm really sorry to interrupt the broadcast, but check that drive out. That is massive. That is massive. Also, sorry if the light keeps going up and down. It's a very difficult day to get the right light on the camera. But basically, it was a stressful day because you're kind of playing for your career. You're playing for your job. Although we're not playing to get on tour, I'm going to have to have a drink because that hill has taken it out of me. Although we're not playing to get on tour, you're still playing for your job. You're playing for the right to be able to teach people to get better. The right to... One second. Other water is available, co-op. You're playing for the right to have that PGA Pro status, that badge, that, I don't know, it's, at the time it felt really stressful. And that putter, I mean, it's two rounds. You had to shoot 14 over for two rounds, which isn't difficult, obviously. It shouldn't be difficult if you're a pro. I know the whole argument with that, but, um, right, one minute. Come on, I'm almost too close here. Too close. Come on. A couple of feet past, bit of spin and hold it with the wonder putter. Oh, please be good, just sit a little. Oh, that's fantastic, that's phenomenal. I mean, such a good mood now, such a good mood. The putter's back, what more can you want? Um, but yeah, basically, it's a little bit like your driving test. Everyone knows you're going to sit it, everyone knows that at the end of that day, there's gonna be a result. You're either gonna pass, you're gonna be able to 
go on to do your training course, work as a PGA pro, work at the club, start your own academy, start your, all the PGA pros have been through this, unless you're off scratch and you don't need to do it, which I mean, that would have just taken a hell of a long time. And I may never have got there. Um, although with shots like that, what a day. Hopefully this uh, is a sign of things to come for 2020. I mean, it couldn't get much worse, could it? But yeah, so I went for the test and I passed, obviously, which is why I'm here and why I have the card. And this putter, this putter, this putter was one of the big reasons why I think, I mean, it was a little bit of a hot, cold day because the first round I shot six over par and I thought, Mm, this is going to be a stressful 18 holes in the afternoon, but then, but then I started the back nine and I three putted the first five holes. What? And all I could put that down to at the time was maybe nerves, just I wasn't getting pace right, I was missing really short putts, and I kind of I pulled the putt to one side and I said, look, and you can think I'm weird if you think this is weird, but people talk to the golf clubs, I know they do. I said, look, come on, don't do this today. And then from there, I shot like three under, four under, made the cut comfortably, shot like shot six, shot six over, two over, which again, isn't a great score and it's, it will never be a great score. But on that day for me, it was a great score. It meant I could walk down the last few holes relatively stress-free, knowing I was going to pass. And I even duffed a putt with this and it went in. True story, duffed it, full on, Damien'd it, right, birdie. Birdie, 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 birdie. Downhill, downwind, bit of left to right, I think. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna duff this one, but when you've duffed a putt and it goes in on a day that means something, that's when you know it's for life. That's when you know. One thing I really like about it is, the three lines, one thing I really like about it is these three dots here, the red dots, they're designed so that when you line it up, if the shaft, if you can see the three dots, it means the shaft's in the wrong place. If you get the three dots out of the way, sort of like there, wait for it, there, that means it's right. Anyway, you are digressing massively here. Come on, roll her in. Turn, turn, it's got another one. Has this got to stay in the bag now, or that? Speechless. Spe I don't even know what to say. Wow. Wow. And I mean, I love the fact that people are going to think I've edited this to make it look like they've gone in, but there's a group of four ball behind me, so I'd have no chance. Um, this is just, Again, it's just memories, it's memories, and, and I'll never sell it. You could offer me whatever you like in the comments, and I won't sell it. I mean, if we, we, can, we can talk. If, um, anyway, we'll play one more hole. We've got a par five coming. If you've been watching the videos, you know that I've actually been playing this par five pretty well. See if we can get three under for three holes. If we eagle this, that's three under par three holes. And that's decent. And also, the story about the three wood... Um, Basically, I had a Cobra Baffler three wood. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it was it was good. It was it was good. It was like you remember the first ever three. It was t a tiny head. It was like the first ever three wood, which was 13 degrees. And I always thought, oh yeah, this is gonna go miles. And it did, to be fair. Um, so that's the story about the three wood. There's one more story with the putter, and it has eluded me for now. But I'm sure I'll remember it soon. What was it, man? Right, nice drawing two iron down here. Oh, that was it. That was it. So it basically reminds me. It basically reminds me of Darren Clark at the Ryder Cup because this was the putter where it, you know, it was quite an emotional one for him, and he held the winning putt. And that's the putter. That's the, the red hex. The, the Scotty. Right. Come on, just a nice one. Drawing down. That is a toey hook, but it started so far right, it's okay. Doesn't deserve to be down there, but it is. I think today's one of them days where you know, things are just going right. So many times on the channel, uh, I put videos on where things go wrong, so just let me enjoy this. This is where it all goes wrong, so where I fall down this hill and break my leg. <coughs> right. And I know what you're all probably thinking. In fact, I know what you're all definitely thinking, because it's exactly what I'm thinking. 
how can you take this out of the bag now? How? And to be honest, as I've just said, I think I'm thinking exactly the same thing. Um, it's almost, it's one of those things, isn't it? Like, if I put it back in the bag, it's going to have a honeymoon period, which is obviously what this is, and then it starts to go cold again. And then you start to resent it a little bit because, oh, well, I'd once duffed you and you went in and now I can't even... Put is a bit like a relationship, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had loads of... Fly in the eye again. I've had loads of putters, loads, I've had loads of putters this year. I've had loads of Scotty Camerons in the past. I've bought them, I've sold them, I've had button backs, I've had circle tees, I've had standard putters, which I've sent to Chris Finch and had done up and then sent them off again. I've had refurbished ones and they've all come and gone. But this one just seems to stay. It seems to kind of have, like I said, just sentimental value. And I mean, she's still in good condition, the old girl, isn't she? You aren't going anywhere, anywhere. And guys, please hit those comments below while the wing gets up and let me know, do you have a club like this? Do you have a club which you hold so dear? Um, I'm probably getting a bit too emotional about this now. I'm going to focus more on the golf, see if we can make eagles, see if we can get three under for three holes. And th that doesn't seem right. And then we'll finish the video there. I mean, a birdie would be nice. He'd like it. Okay, we're maybe running before we can... Anyway. Right, come on, where are you? Don't do this to me. Operation Find Picks is in action, which we did not need for the three under for three pound. It's, it's, it was never going to be too bad, to be fair, but that massively dents the chances of uh, getting on there in two. That was a terrible... I mean, look, it's, there would have been great. There, not so much. I feel like with this video, I should almost just hit the putter out of it. Um, I mean, it's down... There's potential... If I can... I'm going to go seven just because I need the loft to get it out. Hope that it flies, get a bit steep on it. We'll move the tree. It's just not going to get there, I don't think. It's going to have to be one heck of a kind of muscly hook. Oh, it stayed out there. It stayed out there. Just like I said. Things seem to be going well today. You're not making eagle from there. But that's okay because we'll always have the memories of the first and second hole, especially with the putter. Um, I'm going to kind of wrap this up soon, guys, because I mean the chances of birdie are probably slim now as well. But um, hope you've enjoyed it. You know what? No, I do hope you've enjoyed it. But we're going to kick on. We're going to see if we can build a score on this hole because you're a golf pro right a little bit of luck it's uh i mean we're still in the rough and it's, at least we're not in i mean look at that lie again that's another anyway at least we're not in there right get some foliage in as well look at that beautiful that um this just needs to be like a nice a nice one that lands soft on there this isn't lying very nice at all Sit and be all right. Chance, and the way we've put it today, that is a chance. Usually it probably wouldn't be. But with old, I've never even named her. Reddy, Red X, Red, Old Red, Big Red. That's a kangaroo, I think, isn't it? But basically, um, we've got that for birdie, so. Oh, and if that goes in, that's three puts in three holes. So I know you're all screaming and shouting, saying, how are you not putting that in the back? How is it not in there? It should be in there, you're a moron. And, I mean, yeah, you're all completely, mostly bright, correct. But for me, it's logic. Rather have her there knowing she's there than abuse, abuse, abuse? Not the right word? You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Right, let's do this. And this is by no means an easy one, but I'm relishing it because of the putter, so. What we're we saying, I think it's got to be right to left, low side to left. What have we got? One, we'll go one. So I actually think about it more as well because the put almost means more because I'm using, using her, it, whatever. So basically guys, what's going to happen here is I'm going to make the stroke, I'm going to walk it in even if it looks like it's not going to go in, and then if it does go in, it's going to look spectacular. Sound all right? as well. 
Oh, stop it. <laughs> you couldn't write it. You could not, you honestly could not write it. What a time to be alive, what a day. I'm gonna carry on, I'm gonna carry on. I'm, I'm gonna carry on. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed it, why not hit that subscribe button below, that way you won't miss the content I bring to you guys every day. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit those comments below. Oh, do you have a club that you will never sell? Uh, and did you guess right? Apart from that, guys, I'll, uh, I'll really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.